obviously he's put a lot of stuff out there that um, you know a lot of people construe as being racist. Do do, do you I think did. it's that simple? Really? It is no, it's no sugarcoating it. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, when he's had opportunities to recant and, and he's pressed harder. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have Lennox Lewis, one of the greatest heavyweights that have been out there, basically call you out for what you're doing and you respond with with monkey symbols. What is that? Wow. Wow. And that's not the first time he's done that. Mm -hmm. And you can't use a, a, a cultural difference. You can't because he's culturally sound enough to say some of the other stuff that he's been saying. Mm -hmm. he, he's smart enough to do that. So he's smart enough to figure this out. His team seemed to be the smartest at the negotiating table, they say. So somebody, if he doesn't get it, should pull his coattail and say, hey, man, you can't do that. Mm. And, and if they don't do it, somebody should be calling him out. And I tip my hat to those people, and I know who they are, that called him out, spoke about this stuff, written about this stuff. And, but it's a shame for those that have seen it and turned a blind eye and a deaf ear to it. It's a serious problem. It's not something that should be marginalized or minimized or overlooked. It's a real problem. But I'm not going to call you out via social media. I'm going to call you out June 17th. Hmm. Do you think his, and again, I don't, I don't want to I don't throw them under the bus or anything like that, but do you think his promotional company is, is part of that problem too? I mean, I don't know. You know, it's, it's I don't know. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot of, I really honestly don't, it's certain things that catch my eye, but I don't, I'm, I'm not paying attention to a lot of that stuff, man. Mm -hmm. I, it's not really my thing is to go tit for tat with a guy. I just try to establish where I'm at, establish my position, let you know where I stand. And then I go back and like I said, I just disappear and go to work. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to stay out of the noise and, and I don't, I try not to get involved in that kind of stuff, you know. And really, to be honest with you, it's unfortunate, and, uh, but I don't take it personal. I get it. I understand the type of individual that I'm dealing with. I know you don't need the extra motivation, but just just knowing that that's the type of individual he is, does that give you? Yeah. A, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's a place for that in the sport. Mm -hmm. It's not a place for that in society. And I've always had a disdain for bullies, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just not with it, you know. It's no place for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's cool. Like, it's, I get it. It's boxing, and it's a lot of guys who have ty certain types of backgrounds, and that's what they live off of, and that's fine, you know. Live or die with that persona, but um, I've always been the antithesis of that. I'm the guy that that, that is not going to, you know, um, if you beat me, it's not going to be because you got in my head or you talked your way to a victory. You have to earn it, and I've always said that. And that's just how I was raised as a kid. You know, I was conditioned and groomed like that because I've I've seen a hundred Kovalevs throughout my days since I've been ten years old. You know, nationals, uh, Olympics. You know, the Russian that I fought, uh, Sergey, not Sergey, but um, Evgeny Makarenko, mm -hmm. in the quarterfinal. Same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he he stuck his chest out. He, you know, they laughed at me because I was small and you know he was a two-time world champion. He had no reason to respect me. Mm -hmm. I hadn't won anything at at a, at a, at a world level. But it was that same mentality, that same aura that he brought. And I've just always been the type of person to get within myself, um, stay quiet, and just work, man, and just try to go out there and get it done. I don't have to meet you tit for tat because we got to fight. Mm -hmm. 